Hello boat fans, this is Tim from Boats of Brighton for a look around this westerly Merlin interior for you to see her general condition, her layout and if she might be the boat for you. So let's start in the heads compartment which is in the, the starboard after part of the boat. As we go in we can see the head. Now this head is going to be replaced tomorrow so some buyer or lucky recipients will be able to sit on a brand new head and admire the scenes. Um, and on the starboard side here we've got stowage outboard, we've got the nice red sink and we've got stowage below the sink too. So it's, it's a regular head compartment, plenty of room to do whatever you need to do in there. Very nice. Let's close the door on that. Moving slowly forwards, we've got a 12 and 240 volt cool box sitting in what I would deem the hanging locker there. There are still hooks to hang your oilies from if you wish to. And moving forward again to the chart table, it's a rear facing chart table. We've got the lid, so you can stow your navigational stuff inside, full sized. And as I'm walking around, I'm noticing that we've got plenty of handholds here, lots to get hold of. We've got a post here too. So yeah, quite a nice safe boat to traverse around in in safety. Now if we look outboard of this chart table and above, we've got the stereo, we've got the VHF, we've got the colour chart plotter there, and we've also got the, electri the electrics panel too. So if I move back a little bit so that you can see the starboard side of the cabin, nice long settee there, tapers down forward, we've got lots of stowage beneath the seats, none behind apart from this shelf here where we've got bits and pieces here and also the shelf above. You'll notice that the, uh, the whole of the interior of this boat has been lined with this, this grey carpet type stuff. Um, all new, all very new, all look nice, it's nice and clean. Um, it's light and airy, so uh, yeah, much better than the original headlining would have been had it still been there. And also on the starboard side, we've got the AIS receiver and the barometer. So let's move forward now. We go through the cabin to the forward cabin and have a quick look in here. Again, all nicely lined out, feels nice and light and airy. Looks like a, a comfortable place to be with shelves, port and starboard. Upholstery looks nice too, and as you can see, the infill's fitted. There's a hatch. Um, kind of an average sized forward cabin, room for two, but it does taper to almost an exact triangle at the end, so you might find yourself fighting for feet room. But that's all part of the fun, isn't it, everybody? So let's move into the main cabin again, or into the, into the saloon. As you can see, we've got the table with one leaf folded down at the moment and one up, so that you can see approximately how large it would be. And the the settee unit to the port side here, lovely big size. The um, saloon table does drop down and makes it into a double, so you might benefit from that. And again, stowage behind and above, sorry, below and above for all your knickknacks. And now let's go back towards the galley. The galley is pretty much what you'd expect. Nice sink unit, cupboards below, shelves below cool box behind there underneath the kettle we've got some stowage behind the galley there and we've got uh, what is pretty much a run-of-the-mill cooker for boats of this type with two gas burners grill and an oven now let's open the door to the port aft cabin or the only aft cabin as you can see quite dark in here at the moment I'm going to move inside out the way because I'm actually hiding the light there is a port light just shining a bit of light in above there and as we go down, we can see the RCD panel, the battery charger, and the slope here is, uh, well, behind there, that is the engine or below it. So there's a bit more access there too, which is great. And again, we've got a double cabin here. There is actually plenty of space, but for the person lying on the inboard side, there's not much room to actually sit up. So uh, yeah, you, want, you might want to take that into consideration. We've got a shelf along the port side. And as I reverse out, you'll be able to see the, the sort of shelf cupboard unit on the outboard side. So let's close the door on that. And just, uh, another quick look around. You'll notice how light and airy it is down here. That's because the upholstery has all been done in 2018. The wood was all rubbed down in 2018. The deck head was redone in 2018. And the windows were taken out, headlining all done, all around the boat, and the windows resealed in 2018 also. So, as you can see, it makes, it makes a real, real difference down here. So, if you'd like any more information, just go to BoatShedBrighton.com, where you'll find lots more pictures, videos, and virtual reality. 
We hope you've got a really great feeling for this boat through this video. And we also hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.